For the first time ever, the Food and Drug Administration is reviewing a new drug application for a drug to treat Friedrich's ataxia. This NDA was submitted by Riata Pharmaceuticals for their drug, Omevaloxalone, or OMAV. The story of how OMAV came to be tested in FA is a great story about the power of the FA community. In 2009, researchers from the laboratory of Dr. Pierre Roustan at INSERM in Paris published a paper demonstrating that FA cells do not produce enough of a protein that helps protect cells from stress. This protein, called NRF2, is critically important in protecting cells from oxidative stress, which is a destructive type of stress that FA cells experience. This work was supported by Friedrich's Ataxia patient organizations in France, Switzerland, and the U.S. In 2013, Dr. Gino Cortapassi's laboratory at the University of California, Davis, showed that NRF2 levels were also significantly decreased in tissues of the nervous system of an FA mouse model. Other researchers from different institutions around the world, some of them FARA funded, have shown positive effects of OMAV in these and other cellular and animal models. This basic research has continued with other researchers replicating and expanding on the work from the Cortapassi lab. Meanwhile, an FA family saw these publications and realized that there was a pharma company already working on drugs that could increase NRF2 levels, exactly what seemed to be needed for FA. Farah jumped into action, and Farah co-founder Ron Bartek, Farah CEO Jen Farmer, and Farah scientific advisor Dr. David Lynch visited the company. By 2015, the company, you might have already guessed that it was Riata, began to test the NRF2 activator, now called OMAV, in people with FA. Farah and the FA community provided input for the study design, outcome measures, selection of clinical trial sites, and led recruitment efforts. This was the first FA trial conducted on three different continents. The phase 2-3 clinical trial showed safety and a positive effect from OMAV. So, Riata approached the FDA in 2020 about applying for a new drug application for the approval of OMAV to treat FA. However, the FDA was not convinced that a single clinical trial provided enough evidence of the effectiveness of OMAV. In early 2021, Vera again launched into action, coordinating a petition signed by 74,070 individuals requesting that Riata Pharmaceuticals submit an NDA on an urgent basis and the FDA consider approval of an NDA for OMAV in FA based on the existing evidence from clinical trials. Meanwhile, Riata analyzed and shared data from the open label extension study with the FDA and after reviewing these new data, the FDA proposed a meeting with Riata to discuss the submission of the NDA for approval of OMAV for FA. This was an exciting milestone for the FA community, the first review of a drug for FA. Since then, Riata has continued to collect and share more data on the long-term effect of OMAV, showing the drug slows progression by more than 50%. We now await the FDA's final decision on the new drug application for OMAV in FA. If the FDA decides to approve the application, this would be the first approved treatment for FA in the U.S. The FA community played a major role in reaching this milestone, from supporting research grants to participating in trials and natural history studies to encouraging RIATA and the FDA to stay the course. Thank you, FA community, for all you've invested in this effort.